last week, I uploaded a video titled Windows 11 22 H2 Gaming Issue and Fix. In that video we talked about gaming issues right after the 22 H2 update, and NVIDIA had to release a beta driver to fix that issue. And today, Microsoft released an article which they gave options to optimize gaming performance in Windows 11. Let's talk about this real quick. Since Windows 11 was released about a year ago, many gamers who moved on to Windows 11 have found that their gaming performance has dropped slightly compared to Windows 10. Over a year later, Microsoft published a guide to help users regain their FPS. However, Windows 11 has not been a smooth operating system for gaming. Early on, AMD processors were losing almost 15% of their performance, but that only lasted for a couple of weeks right after launch. Several NVIDIA buyers noticed significant frame drops following the recent 22H2 update in September. And overall, some people believe Windows 11 simply feels less snappy than Windows 10. Multiple gamers claim that Windows 11 also affects their in-game performance, even after attempting fixes such as disabling virtualization-based security, which we discovered could improve frame rates. This led many consumers to downgrade to Windows 10. This week, Microsoft has released a guide specifically to help gamers regain those extra FPS by simply disabling two features within Windows. Microsoft's first solution is to disable HVCI, also known as Memory Integrity. According to Microsoft, memory integrity helps prevent attackers from injecting their malicious code and helps ensure that all drivers loaded onto the OS are signed and trustworthy. Some argue that memory integrity can be used to block ransomware attacks, so use this guidance at your own risk. Microsoft assures us that this feature will be automatically activated on all new Windows 11 PCs but not on computers already running Windows 11, so you may have to enable it in that case. The second tip provided is to disable the virtual machine platform. The job of a virtual machine platform is to provide core virtual machine jobs for Windows. This feature is also not enabled automatically unless you have a freshly installed Windows 11. Microsoft has received user feedback and discovered that enabling both memory integrity and a virtual machine platform can degrade gaming performance. Hence, Microsoft concludes that gamers may turn off these features while gaming and turn them back on when finished playing if they want the optimal experience out of their machine. Microsoft does not clarify how much performance users can get out of disabling these features. They also do not provide a more straightforward or automated way for unnecessary features to not run in the background when gaming. However, based on our tests regarding VBS, we wouldn't expect anything more than a 10% to 15% improvement. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit that bell icon.